Hello everybody, this is the GoTo family. Today we're in Ubud, Bali, and we're just about to go check out the monkey forest. So, whoa, gotta watch my step there. So let's go get our tickets. Came to about 340,000 uh, rupiah, so uh, about 30 something, 30 dollars or so US, maybe a little less than that for all five of us. Now, as you're walking in, they have guidelines, so you have to follow these guidelines. If you've never been in an area where they have monkeys before, they tell you what to do and how to act. Basically, just never take any kind of aggressive measures, uh, don't bring any food, and uh, if ever there's any kind of situation, just don't panic. Very important, don't panic just keep it cool so hopefully none of those things happen to us now the last time that we had an encounter with monkeys as a family was back in Thailand when we were in Krabi right and it wasn't fun <laughs> we had a monkey harass Robin and steal a juice pouch from her and there was a bit of chaos and panic so I think we've learned our lesson on how to behave this time around right mom did we learn our lesson I did juice boxes equal food <laughs> for my not so fast brain I didn't realize that like why would a monkey not like something sweet I don't know I wasn't thinking you know they like bananas they like fruit so that's all sweet so they must enjoy apple juice too so I kind of have uh, some unresolved feelings towards monkeys so I am overcoming my fears today of monkeys and I'm going forward So as you enter, it doesn't take very long before you see the monkey. They're actually right at, basically right after the entrance. So you just see there's a whole bunch actually. And they come from everywhere. You just never know where the monkeys are coming from because you're looking at one and then there's a couple that are coming, you know, from your back and stuff. So uh, they're coming from everywhere. There's big monkeys, there's females, males, there's a little baby, there's a little baby over there. So they're all around. So more guidelines just in case you missed them at the first stop so you should follow those guidelines for sure now some people you see they're not really following them but if you get a rabies bite that's not gonna be fun so you do want to follow those guidelines they have these feeding areas so you can come and you can see them and actually what's interesting is you'll see a pack of monkeys come and then you'll see another pack so they're very they're very pack like so uh, one pack comes and then another pack comes and the other pack just kind of like goes away and uh, the, the dad eats the pack so when the dad eats they all follow the alpha male yeah exactly and you can kind of just see you can see that the alpha male is just bigger he just has a meaner look in his face and if you look at him he'll look right back at you and stare you down so you don't want to do that so the sacred monkey forest sanctuary is built upon the hinduist philosophy of three hita karana now three hita karana is basically the three ways of achieving the uh, mental and spiritual uh, happiness so it's basically a way of having multiple things coincide or live together side by side so you have here you have the park the nature the monkeys and you also have the human so that's my understanding of it is how things can live in peace and harmony together and that's what this uh, this whole thing is built upon here so it's it's very nice to see and you can definitely see it that as you walk in it doesn't feel like a zoo where you have to go and see the monkeys everything is just out in the open so it's basically like an ecosystem that kind of invites you in and you can just see and explore in its natural form so it's very nice very neat monkeys are everywhere here you don't have to look very hard to find them and if they want to find you they'll find you as well
Let's see if he's gonna climb on my back. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello there. Oh, there we go. He's just, he's using my head as a table. Oh no. He's nice and gentle. He's nice and gentle. There we go. There we go. Ah, he's on my head. <laughs> oh, is he peeing on me? Oh, God. Oh, no. Did he just pee on me? Okay, uh, okay, we're not friends anymore, monkey. He peed on me, I smell it. Oh, God. Did he poop on me, too? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah, I have a monkey that just peed on my head. Hey, 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 that's mine. No, oh, he just stole it. He just stole my Kleenex. <laughs> he, it's okay, it's okay. We're not gonna fight over a Kleenex. You know, I felt something warm and I was like, oh, this doesn't feel so bad. And then it took me like one second to realize what was going on. But at first it didn't feel that bad. Why would a monkey pee on us? I don't know. He liked Daddy a lot. Why would a monkey pee on my dad? It's funny, the monkeys were jumping on all those kids' heads and everything, and of course I have to be the one that gets beat on. Alright, so we're back out. That was quite neat. You might even be tempted to say that I got more than my money's worth. That was quite the experience. I don't know, why are you touching me? That's actually the side that got wet, so that's very interesting. Uh, luckily, he just went for number one and not number two, so uh, I'm just about dried up, so that's fine. I'm moving on. Went, I wish he went for number two. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when you're gonna get when you go to a monkey park, but that's you quite never nice. You know when you're gonna get number one or number two. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> moving on <laughs> to a different topic. I gotta say, one thing I really like is I like how everything's out in the open here. Uh, the monkeys are nice, they're, they're friendly, they're, uh, they're very approachable. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Anyways, come check it out if you're in the area. <laughs> what? Okay, so just a short drive away from the monkey forest is this restaurant, this place called La Caleque. This place is not very far from there, but there's a lot of traffic in Ubud, who knew? So it took a while to get here, but just as you, you, you walk into here, you're kind of greeted by this place that is so beautiful, so charming, so quintessentially Bali, but more precisely, so quintessentially Ubud. So it's just so nice. They have like these little statues of like Ganesha that kind of greet you at the entrance. They have a little lake, or like a little fountain and all these statues. They even have a rice field that you're overlooking uh, your table as you're, you're eating. So this is so beautiful, I gotta say. And really, really Dad, nice. Did you remember to like, show the table? It's not where your table. Yeah, it's, it's a different table, right? The Bali table. So we just started getting our food here. So first off, we got the baggy baggy from the appetizer menu. So baggy baggy, basically four different items on your plate, typical Indonesian appetizer. So you have your sautés here. You also have some fried spring rolls. Uh, you got, I believe, some fried tofu. Then you have your prawn crackers. Prawn crackers, basically ubiquitous in Indonesia, well, at least in Bali, they love them. It's like the essence of Indonesian uh, food. People love them. Uh, they love that crunch. And also in the middle, you got that quintessential peanut sauce. So that's gonna go well with those satays. We'll see if it goes well with some other things on this plate right here. First things first, we're gonna dig into these beautiful satays. Nice minced meat that is kind of formed together into these uh, skewers. This looks like chicken, I gotta say. I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna dip it into that peanut sauce right in the middle. That's how it's done and eat it right like that. Mm. I gotta say that peanut sauce, that is a potent, that is a strong peanut sauce. Very, very peanutty. Also packs a little bit of a kick. The meat here is super nice and tender. That is just beautiful. Very, very soft. 
and also it has a nice beautiful char on the outside just really really soft really falls off and and kind of just melts in your mouth all right so moving on in this baggy baggy mm. oh wow oh my god wow now that is that's an egg roll wow that is so beautiful as you bite into it it just kind of squirts this kind of like soft liquid it has this nice beautiful juice inside and it just kind of squirts in your mouth as you bite into it that is just beautiful beautifully cooked and that's really nicely flavored oh that is so good we got our main course so we got this half duck basically this is a specialty in the region here in Ubud so what they do is they cut the duck in half they boil it and then they deep fry it for that extra crispiness and this duck comes with a whole bunch of different sauces so we have three sauces here I believe they range from the fiery hot to the not super duper hot but we're gonna try those in just one second but this duck here just looks beautiful okay all right so here we go so it just broke up a piece of this duck right here you can just kind of like you can hear the crunchiness this is very crunchy very crispy and we have our three different kinds of sauces so i believe one is fiery hot now there's two that look like they could be potentially volcanic hot so uh i believe this is going to be the spiciest this has huge chunks of chili in there it's not quite as reddish as the other one but the other one looks a little more oily this looks a little more chunky so we take our nice piece of duck leg right here just taken out of the fryer and we're just gonna dump some of that sauce over it all right just like that and here we go Mmm. Oh. oh wow, that is so nice, so good. Very, very crispy. But man, that sauce, that is a killer sauce. Yes, it is spicy, but it's also a little kind of like uh, peppery in the sense of like a bell pepper. Kind of like it's a little soft, a little creamy. It's not super duper fiery spicy, I have to say. It has a lot of flavor, but the duck itself is really nice, really crispy. Also tender at the same time. You can tell this was just taken out of the fryer, so it's nice and fresh and it has that crispy texture. And the duck leg is fried with the skin on, so the skin turns so crispy, almost creamy-like. You can just kind of see it as we're breaking it off there. It actually turns quite thin, I have to say. It's not this big layer of chewy skin that uh, you might expect on a duck leg. Right, so next up we got this dish called chamchur. I will correct myself if I'm mistaken. I'm still learning my Indonesian food terminology. But basically this is a dish that contains a little bit of everything here. So we have, we have your rice in the middle of the dish. Uh, you also have, I believe, uh, some beans. On the side you have, of course, your saute, quintessential. Basically you'll always find it on your dish, whether you're getting fried rice, nasi goreng, or uh, no matter what you're getting, you'll get a lot of saute in Indonesia for sure. Uh, we also have, I believe, a fried, it's kind of like a uh, pakora actually, that we have on the plate right here. Uh, you have your fried egg that comes with this, I believe, sambal that's put on it. So that might be a little fiery, a little spicy. So you have a little bit of everything here. This is kind of like uh, typical of what you'll find a lot of in the region. A lot of people eat this for lunch, for supper, because it combines all the ingredients that you have. You have your meats, rice, beans, you have your greens as well. So a bit of everything on your plate. All right, let's try the saute. I believe this is chicken saute. Now that is really good. Wow, there's just so many spices on there. It's kind of hard to tell everything that's going on. It's kind of like lemony. It's a little peppery. It's a little spicy. It's got basically everything going on. They diced the meat before they put it on this wooden skewer. So they probably added literally the kitchen sink in there. So Bali, of course, very Hindu and influenced. So right here, you'll see it sometimes even in the food. So we got, basically, this is a pakora, right? It comes on your champur dish right here. So it's one of the elements 
fried pakora. Mmm. This is fried onion and corn pakora. It has some corn pieces in there. You can see the corn chunks. And this pakora right here, on the sweeter side, I have to say. It's really good. I have to order more of it. Honestly, it's quite sweet and quite buttery. This is almost like the quintess quintessential Indian treat right here, especially because it's honestly it's quite buttery. But that buttery really works here. It almost turns into like some kind of a fluffy pakora donut. This is quite interesting. I never had a pakora quite like this. Mmm, it just has that sweetness. Wow, that's amazing. All right, so this is gonna do it for us right here. So we went to the Monkey Forest and we came and ate here at Laka Lake. What a nice experience here. You're really getting a feel for the authentic Ubud as you come here. It's it's honestly an experience in and of itself. I could spend a whole day here. Actually, I did spend pretty much a full afternoon here eating and just relaxing it and enjoying the beautiful nature and just relaxing. This is what it's about. What an experience this was. So. Uh, we'll leave it right here guys, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. For more videos from the GoTo family here in Ubud, Bali and from around the world, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, send us any comments that you might have or any suggestions. You can also send us messages through Instagram as well. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Alright guys, so we'll see you on the next one from here in Ubud in Bali.